Well, while I'm off in Vegas, I had to think of something fun and entertaining just for you. And I thought to myself, what is one of our favorite things? Well, Sam is one of our favorite things, and his drinks are one of our favorite things. So why not some Sam and his drinks? Um, well, not just his spirits, but his mixed drinks. So I've got a collection. Uh, this one is all about his whiskey. I want you to take a close look at all of the different things that he is making with his whiskey. And um, pick one. Pick one, one that I should try because at some point uh, I'm, I'm going to have to chew a mixed drink for fun. But while I'm trying these little chats where I talk about a specific show once a month, I thought it would be fun to try a mixed drink because I'm not a mixed drink person. I, I'd already tried the whiskey itself. It was good. I'd like to see if I could try something with a little bit more flavor. So uh, pay attention to these uh, and, and see which one you think you would try. And, and I'll give it a shot. Again, not a big drinker, but I, I'm willing to try anything once if it won't kill me. Now, while you watch these, do keep in mind that I have a bad reaction to citrus. I can do maybe about a half ounce of lemon or, or orange juice, maybe lime juice, um, before I have a horrific reaction, I can take a lysine pill and the acid reduction will cause less of a reaction. Uh, but but if it's a bad reaction, then I can't be on camera for a while because it get all funny looking. <laughs> so do keep those in mind while you're looking at these. And uh, yeah, let's watch Sam. Welcome back to Sassanac Classics. Today we're making a wee hot toddy. Yes, a hot toddy, what's it for? <coughs> it's for when you're feeling a bit poorly or you just want a nice warming drink during the holiday season it's cold outside. I have to move this out of the way. I can barely breathe. So for your hot toddy, you're going to need a quarter cup of hot water. You're going to need one and a half ounces of whiskey. <coughs> Maybe a wee bit more. Two to three teaspoons of honey, two to three teaspoons of lemon juice, whatever you want to garnish it, lemon rounds, cinnamon sticks. This drink is going to make you feel so much better, I promise you. We're going to need one and a half ounces. I don't know who said one and a half ounces, honestly. I'm gonna stick like two ounces in there. Here's the great thing about this drink. It really is, you know, it's 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 medicine. You know, they call whiskey the water of life. Well, this is gonna bring you back to life if you're not feeling very well. You're gonna put two to three teaspoons of delicious Scottish honey. If you can't get Scottish, well, whatever good organic honey. Honey has so many health benefits. You have your, your honey from New Zealand that is, is, is very good for you. So I'm gonna put one, maybe two of these in. I like it sweet. Oh my God, this is gonna be so good. And then lemon juice freshly squeezed, of course, also has a lot of benefits um, for health. I don't know what, I've been told it's really good for you. Then we're gonna pour in our hot water. I'm gonna fill it right up. Give it a little stir. I know it's murky, but it's gonna make you feel so good. I can smell this warm, comforting embrace of honey, lemon, delicious whiskey. And then we're gonna garnish it with a little lemon, maybe some cloves in there, some cinnamon sticks. It's gonna make you feel so much better. Cheers, the, uh, the Sassanac Hot Toddy. Oh, feel better already. Cheers. You know, I've always heard of hot toddies, believe it or not, more on Star Trek than anywhere else. But I, I, I don't know. I don't know that I would want a warm alcohol drink. But again, like I said, I am willing to try anything once. And also still need to watch out for that citrus kick. This is Sassana Classics and we're making a very sexy wee cocktail called the Bobby Burns. Yes, named after Robert Burns, the famous prolific Scottish poet better than your Shakespeare, better than any of the other poets. Bobby wrote so many, so many poems. I'm gonna speak one as I make this drink and try not mess this up. Okay, for the Bobby Burns, you need an ounce of Scotch whiskey, your finest Sassanac. You want an ounce of sweet vermouth, half an ounce of Benedictine, lemon peel to garnish. Let's make the wee Bobby Burns. Okay, for this, we need an ounce of your delicious Sassanac. Scotch whiskey. What other whiskey would Robert Burns drink but Sassanac? You go, someone's been drinking all of my whiskey. Did you notice that? Now we're going to need an ounce of sweet vermouth and then half an ounce of your Benedictine. This stuff smells amazing. Oh, and of course you need ice. <laughs> oh. So we're going to stir this 
and recite some bands. Just say your honest son, see face. Great chieftain. I put him lace, I bring them all, you tag your place. Then strike up there. Well, are you worthy of a cocktail made by my fair arm? I'm telling you, it's a sexy wee drink. And for that, we need a sexy wee glass. Nice, chilled. I was told to make it look sexy. There you go. Find us while I'm looking at you. And of course, a little twist, a little zest. Oh, and then this little thing, I don't know what it is, but I'm going to put this on here and make it look fancy. But I don't know how this works. Would Robert Burns have had one of those? Probably not, but he would have drank a Bobby Burns cocktail. Slide ya. Oh, it's good. All right, this one again is just a garnish. Thank you, Sam, for having some of these drinks where it's, it's just a garnish. We're not putting it straight into the drink. All right, this one has a shot. What's next? This is Sassanac Classics, and we're making a Sassanac Old Fashioned. That's not because I'm old fashioned, but this drink is really, truly delicious. One of my favorites, especially in an evening. So let's make this Sassanac Old Fashioned. For that, you're gonna need two ounces of Sassanac whiskey, two dashes of Angostura bitters, quarter ounce of simple syrup. I hope you have some of that. It's really simple to make, hence the name. And of course, a little citrus twist. Let's make this delicious drink. First, we need some ice. Don't fill it all the way up. Then, we're gonna need two ounces of Sassanac whiskey. Pour that in. Didn't even spill it. Angostura bitters. Is this Angostura? I'm glad this is Angostura. Two ounces, two dashes of Angostura bitters. Two of those. Don't worry if a bit more goes in. I really like bitters. And quarter ounce of your simple syrup. Fill it up, a bit more ice. The more ice you have, the less dilution. I don't know how that works, but apparently it's true. So quite a lot of ice in it, here we go. And you want to stir this for, I don't know, 10 seconds. I would say until your hand gets really cold, but my hand is already really cold. We froze this tumbler. Anyway, here we go. So that's about 10 seconds. That's about right. Then you're gonna need your Lobo glass. You're gonna need one beautifully large ice cube. And then we're gonna strain. Oh, it smells so good. You're old fashioned into this glass like that. Oh, I'm so excited. Now, traditionally you can serve this with a cherry, it's very old fashioned, or some lemon or even orange. I'm gonna do both because, hey, we're crazy like that. I'm gonna get all those oils in there and then maybe spread that around the top. And we're gonna serve that there. There you go, there is your Sassanek. Old fashioned cheers, smells delicious. Oh yay, it's a garnish again. All right, all right, so we can work with this one. Plus I can substitute for cherries and I like cherries. And also when it really comes down to it, don't we all need a great excuse to make a giant ice cube? Right, right? Welcome to Sassanac Classics. I'm sweating because I just ate some candied ginger. We're gonna make the penicillin. This is a modern classic created in Manhattan in New York. It is a delicious drink. You're really gonna enjoy this one. You're gonna need two ounces of Satanax whiskey. You're gonna need three quarters of an ounce or equal parts of lemon juice and a honey ginger syrup. And maybe just a quarter ounce of an Isla single malt, that nice smoky Scottish whiskey. And we're gonna garnish that with some candied ginger. I promise you, try making one while it's eating this stuff. It's pretty difficult. It's really hot. Okay, let's make our penicillin. First of all, we're gonna need, what do I need? Two ounces of, of Sassanac whiskey. Oh my God, this ginger. It's going everywhere, I don't care. I'm gonna need this drink afterwards. Equal parts, lemon juice, honey ginger syrup. Now, we're gonna have to Shake this, a bit of ice. He did it with his elbow and it was really difficult. Just like that. Then you're gonna need your chill glass. Where's my chill glass? 
and we're going to strain that. What's left of it, we're going to strain it. You might need some ice in there. I'm going to use these very fancy ice cubes because we're fancy here in New York. Oh, that ginger. Oh, this drink is so delicious. Now, we just want to pour a little drizzle of your Isla smoked scotch whiskey on top. Just a little drizzle or just a lot. Oh, get it all over there. And then some of your candied, very hot and spicy ginger. There we go. I'm gonna serve that just there. Your Sassanac penicillin. Oh, I need some water. And once again, we are back to the lemon juice and it, and it looks kind of rough to make. Poor Sam. Welcome to Sassanac Classics. Today we're making the Sassanac Scottish Mule. Why is it called that? Well, once you take a little sip of this delicious cocktail, you make the sound of a Scottish mule. You might hear that at the end. So for your Scottish mule, you're gonna need two ounces of Sassanac whiskey, four ounces of ginger beer, half an ounce of lime juice, three dashes of bitters, and you're gonna garnish it with a little bit of mint. Let's make the Scottish mule. Okay, first of all, fill this lovely copper cup with ice. Gets it all nice and cold. Two ounces of Sassanac. This is a very popular drink. If you like ginger, you're gonna love this. Then we want our lime juice, three dashes of bitters. Might give that a little stir down. This is apparently how you open ginger beer. Top that up. And I might add a little bit more ice. And garnish with your Scottish mule garnish. Cheers. The Sassanac Scottish mule. Ah, ha, ha. That's the sound of a Scottish mule. There you go. The Sassanac Scottish mule. Woo! She's good. Now we're switching it up. It's lime juice. <laughs> you know what? Even if I don't make one of these drinks, I think I might go try a ginger beer, though. That just sounds good for some reason. And that is my list for the whiskey. All right. So you let me know which of these drinks do you think would taste best? And I will let you know if you're right or wrong. And um, hopefully you guys are joining me, even if you don't have a Sassanac whiskey, man, you know, get some of the mix-ins. I'll let you know which one I'm going to make. And next time I do a chat about a television show, I'll try one of the mixed drinks if I don't have a new bottle to try from Katrina. Or, well, even if I get uh, a mixed drink that's a, a gin. Oh, wait, I haven't done the gin one yet. I'm going to do a gin one, too. And then I will get Sam's gin or Katrina's gin and unless she has her own drinks you know what this is getting very confusing I will try a mixed drink you vote for it on the whiskey we'll do that in September and uh, I think I'm going to talk about Dark Angel does anybody know the show Dark Angel Jessica Alba yeah it's a it's a good show only two seasons I might talk about that one anyway uh, let me know what you think. Which drink should I try and make next time I do the whiskey uh, with him? So that would be in September uh, around the 20 something. I'll figure out a good date. And uh, yeah, let me know which one I should try so I can get the mixings. And uh, I'm saying uh, a lot. So this must be the end of the video. If you didn't get enough silliness on this video, please go check out any of my other videos. I promise you there is silliness in every single one of them. To my patrons, to my members, thanks again for your support. I, I really do appreciate every time that I, I see uh, someone has joined us too. I really do appreciate it just so much. Thank you so much. And everybody who came and watched this video, thank you. Uh, I'm not currently here in my corner. I'm far away. And I do appreciate you taking the time to check out this video, even though it's not actually full of updates. It's just full of Sam. And who wants to see that? Um, if you do want to see more of that, then just check out any of these other videos, like I said. And um, I'll see you there.